everyone is talking about burning right now because of this art team's experiment where they find out that QD OLEDs are more likely to burn in than WRGB OLEDs and even LG is using this experiment in their marketing material. So some of you ask for my take on this situation. So let me start by showing you how long I've been using my LG C1 OLED at full blast with all the protection mechanisms turned off, okay? Even on the service menu, TPC and GSR off. So you can see the hours of your TV by coming here to general, devices, TV management, TV information. You see it here, 1,919 hours, okay? That's almost 2,000 hours and no burning. No issues whatsoever. So now, to be fair, I play with black from insertion most of the time, okay? And OLED Motion Pro is less likely to burn in because the pixels are turning off, on and off. So I'm going to do a separate video talking about that. And to be fair, based on the art team's experiment, the LG WRGB OLEDs, specifically are more resilient than other WRGB OLEDs. Uh, so what do I think about that? Is this a deal breaker? Does this mean to me that, okay, I'm never going to buy a QD OLED because, you know, it's going to burn in. No, <laughs> I don't care about this, okay? This is not something that would detract me from buying a QD OLED whatsoever. There are other things that I don't like about QD OLED, but this situation, I don't care. And the reason is, I have a plasma TV and I know how image retention looks like. On my plasma TV, if I play a game that has a HUD, after five or 10 minutes, it doesn't take very long. I change to something else or I turn off the TV and back on again, and I still see the image retention and this plasma tv is over 12 years old and it only has one very faint burning on the right corner of the screen and it is imperceptible unless i play like a solid color like a gray slide something like that it's imperceptible for regular content so plasma tvs are so much more fragile than these OLEDs. It is not even close. And there's no problem with this plasma TV after so many years. It's, I mean, it is a problem. It is burning on the, on the right corner of the screen. But that's not a deal breaker, man. After you know, 12 years, you're not, you're not expected to have a TV lasting a lot longer than that. That's probably close to the end of the life of the TV and this plasma TV is probably gonna be good fine for a while because it's very bright still so the TV is going to break one day for sure that's gonna happen <laughs> but something else might break on the TV so now they are using for this burning experiment this is a stress test they are using you know, CNN same logo all the time there <laughs> and you know, I'm not going to criticize you for watching the news or anything like that. But, you know, let's be let's be clear and let's be smart about this, okay? If you spend one, two, three, four thousand dollars on a premium display that is 120 hertz, HDR, wide color gamut, 4K, you're gonna watch 720p 30 fps content that doesn't make any sense i'm sorry that doesn't make any sense i wouldn't like even to watch any sdr content i want 4k 120 fps <laughs> wide color gamut hdr all the time because i pay for it so every time i am watching content that is not very high um uh, you know resolution or quality i am like man i'm missing out 
I'm missing out because this display is capable of giving me a much better picture. Of course, we don't need to watch somebody's face on HDR. <laughs> like, you know, a video like this, you don't need it to be 120 FPS, 4K HDR, okay? But my point is, to get burning from the CNN logo, you're basically using the TV for something that you shouldn't be you shouldn't be doing basically so if you're gonna be watching the news for so long just buy a cheap lcd display because the the channels the news channels and the sports they are very very low quality so you don't buy a premium tv to watch low quality content doesn't make any sense so for regular usage where you're just playing games or watching different things or even once in a while, you can watch, you know, CNN. I like to watch the UFC. That's like 720p, 30 frames. Okay, but that's once a, a week or <laughs> something like that. Yeah, but it, 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 it's not a problem in my opinion. This doesn't matter. So I think this is still a very cool uh, experiment. And yes, I do like to hear that my LG OLED is actually more resilient. Uh, that's a very good thing, especially when I like to you know, just unleash all the power. But I don't really care, man. I don't really care. They show here that this Sony WRGV OLED, it is showing some possible permanent image retention after two months. And there are some differences between the, you know, the pixel cleaning cycles and the way the the pixel refresh uh settings of the of both brands but they they even find out that if they do less of that on the lg OLEDs, they are still less likely to burning so they don't know exactly why lg is more resilient than other wrgb OLEDs. so this is a very interesting article i'm gonna have a link in the description of this video if you want to go and read the whole thing and Yes, it was a problem in the past. They show here an older LG from 2000 and yeah, the LG C7 burning after 16 weeks. So it was a big problem in the past, but not anymore. Not anymore. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't be concerned about this QD OLEDs whatsoever. And the other thing is they mentioned the monitors. You know, these Alienware monitors that are QD OLEDs. And they said that the QD OLEDs are struggling with white all the time. So you have a white screen or, or a logo that is white. The QD OLED is burning with, because of that white. And they say, oh, so, you, so if you have monitors that are QD OLED, that's a problem. And I do not agree with that. And the reason is, why would you want to have a white background for desktop usage. That is going to destroy your eyes. Some people ask me sometimes, why do you have the letters in red and the background in black? This looks like, this looks, this looks bad. The reason is to save my eyes. <laughs> this is so much, com so much more comfortable to, to read because I have, no blue on the screen. So the blue lights and white has blue. The blue lights are nasty for your eyes. Nasty. So what I do is I take advantage of the perfect blacks that my OLED TV is giving me. So perfect blacks means my eyes are not suffering. There's no light damaging my eyes. And then the letters, I make them red because red is very soft, very, very easy for the eyes. So I can be reading this all day long, even if I have this at full brightness, which I don't need either. I can lower the brightness. And, and that's how I use the TV for desktop usage. So I don't really understand why would somebody, why would anyone be interested in having white uh, windows? And, and some people complain about uh, the ABL on these LG TVs. Uh, okay, I want that white 
window, if I increase the size of the window, I want the brightness to stay high. Why would you want that? That makes no sense. I would lower the brightness to zero. <laughs> All that light on zero. If I really need to, to watch something that has a white background. So it doesn't make any sense in my opinion. So let me know your thoughts and opinions. And if you have any questions, again, I couldn't care less about burning with QD OLEDs. Even if I get an Alienware QD OLED or a future QD OLED, I wouldn't, I, I don't care. I would still buy it. The reason why I don't like QD OLED so far is because they have elevated black levels on their lighting conditions. And I saw that on the store. That's the thing I don't like about QD OLEDs. And also, I don't, I don't like, uh, I've heard some reports that QD OLEDs near black have a little bit of ghosting. So the motion, the motion is, the pixels, the transition of the pixels is not as fast near black. So it affects the motion clarity and that's a deal breaker for me. I haven't seen that, but I've seen reports of that situation. So mainly what I don't like about QD OLEDs is this, the way the screen looks. Uh, you know, what I mean by the screen looks is without even displaying any content on a light, on a, on a lit room like this, it's not going to look black. And I love this darkness here. This is the thing that I love that I like the most about this LG OLEDs. That's why I was so upset with that Panasonic MZ2000 that has the MLA and it's going to look like, like an LCD screen on a bright room. And potentially the LG G3 is going to look like that too. So let's wait for the reviews and see. So that's the thing I don't like about the QD OLEDs, but burning, I don't care about that, man. I have a plasma TV. I know how that looks like, and I don't consider that to be an issue whatsoever with the way I use the TV. If you're planning to watch the same ESPN all the time, and that's all you watch, or you maybe you play competitive games, you need to have the hood elements on the screen all the time and you only play that game for eight hour plus every single day maybe maybe that would be a problem but yeah not the way i use the tv so i guess it depends on the way you use the tv and i believe it is more important the way you use the tv that if you have the protection mechanisms or not so I have my TV at full blast, but the way I use the TV, I know there's no way I'm going to get burning because I am changing the content all the time. And I, I, can, I barely use this TV for desktop. I only use it for gaming. Only use it for gaming most of the time. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.